Welcome into Drew Saley Diamond for Tuesday, October 1st, 2024. Welcome to October. Welcome to Major League Baseball playoffs, guys. Breaking them down each and every game on the slate for Tuesday. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. Who you like in these series, all is welcome. I'll be in there throughout the day chiming in in the comments below. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. Following up a wild Monday on the diamond, we are heading to Houston, 2.30 Eastern time. On ABC, it's the Detroit Tigers making their way into the playoffs up against the Houston Astros. Battle of Southpaws here. Tyreek Skubal, the triple crown winner in the American League, up against Framber Valdez for the Astros. Astros, minus 145 home favorites, six in the hook being the total Detroit gets in 10 games over 500 plus nine units on the season the wild card uh, team here up against the Houston Astros NL West division uh, winners 12 games over 500 minus six units from a betting perspective they did win three of their last four down the stretch the winner of this series plays Cleveland starting on Saturday breaking it down guys one thing I, I noticed here is Scooble one of his I guess worst starts of the season was against Houston in in, in Minute Maid. He, he gave up four earned in six and a third innings. Now, he's a guy that had 228 strikeouts, only 35 walks. You know, I was looking for reasons to be on Detroit here. The problem is that the Houston Astros, the, their lineup is a lot stronger when you look at kind of the overall seat season statistics. Also against handedness of pitcher, they were a top five lineup against lefties. Whereas Detroit was bottom 10 across baseball. So I think there's offensive advantages here towards the Astros. And I think it really shows in the numbers. And Valdez was really right behind Scoob. I mean, you look at his numbers. They were solid this season. And he went up against the Tigers in May. Seven innings, just two weren't given up. So a better start in terms of past performance against the lineup you're going to be facing. Overall, guys, this is one that this is the toughest one of the four going on Tuesday. But uh, going on the Astros here and laying the 45 cents to start us off. Next one up, 408 Eastern time on ESPN2. It's the Kansas City Royals making their way to the MLB playoffs up against the Baltimore Orioles. Battle of wild card uh, teams here. Corbin Burns for the O's. Looks like Cole Reagans, the lefty going for the Royals. Total is seven. We are seeing the Orioles anywhere from about minus 150 home favorites as I'm doing this the night before, guys. Um, into the overnight markets, Baltimore comes in 20 games over 500 plus three units on the season. Kansas City, 86 and 76, 10 games over as well. Three units to the positive. They got Reagans on the hill. He faced the Orioles twice, one good, one bad. He got uh, knocked around in one of those. They were both back in April, so a little bit tough to go off of. His last four starts were solid. Problem is he's up against Corbin Burns here. Uh, one earned run, just seven hits. His last three starts, a little bit better in terms of past performance against the Royals. Overall, guys, one thing I noticed in this handicap is Baltimore comes in. I like going the last two weeks, how the lineups are hitting by weighted runs created plus. And sure enough, the Orioles, the top five lineup, the Kansas City Royals, they've kind of gone cold. They are the coldest lineup in baseball by uh the weighted runs created plus metric over the last two weeks. So we get a little hot versus cold here. It's putting us on the Orioles listing Corbin Burns as the starter here, minus 150. I'm listing all the, the starting pitchers in terms of the teams I'm betting on the video, by the way, guys. We got next one up, happy hour special here, 5.30 Eastern time on ESPN. Going to be going simultaneously. Uh, seeing the MLB playoffs kind of rolling these two at the same time. It's the New York Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. We get Peralta on the hill for the Brew Crew. Luis Severino going for the Metropolitan. Seven in the hook being the total. Minus 140. That's Milwaukee as the home favorite. Milwaukee, great season. 93 and 69. They won the NL Central. Plus 17 units on the year. This was the most profitable team in the MLB regular season. So you could say they were the most, you know, underpriced, best bet of, of the year. They've won three straight. They won five of six down the stretch. They got Peralta on the hill. Opening day, he actually faced the Mets. These two teams went at it in the first series of the year. Six innings, just one hit. It was one swing of the bat. It was a home run. That's the only earned run he gave up with an eight to one strikeout to walk ratio. So it was a while ago, but he had great past performance there. And he's up against Severino. 
it was actually Severino going in the second game of that series, and he gave up double-digit hits in that start, 11 hits in five innings against this Brewers lineup, and he really hasn't been great of late. We also got to throw in, you know, the Braves and the Mets just played on Monday, a doubleheader. Now they're going from Atlanta to Milwaukee, no off day after a doubleheader. Don't love that matchup. And they're giving up a bullpen edge here. You know, we saw that Mets bullpen in game one. That was a roller coaster of a game. And they're up against the Brewers here, which is a top five bullpen for the full season. So overall, guys, I think the 40 cents is light. We're on the Brewers over the Mets in game number three. The winner of that series plays Philadelphia. The winner of the Royals and the Orioles plays the New York Yankees. The last game will be the Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres. And the winner plays uh, the Dodgers there. So that will be a big series. We'll get after the Braves and the Padres. But first, a reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm, guys. MLB playoffs is among us. So uh, it's going to be a fun, fun couple weeks here for Drew's Daily Diamond. And if you're interested in premium picks, today's a great day to do so. Tuesday, $5 Tuesday, all plays discounted to just $2. I got a 4% up and available in a game we are breaking down on the show. All right, 8.38 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN, the nightcap for the MLB playoffs. It's the Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres. Michael King, the listed starter for the pods, Coming in a minus 135 price tag. Atlanta, I'm still seeing undecided, but as I'm doing this video, I think there's uh, some handicapping angles we could actually get after. Atlanta also playing the doubleheader just yesterday, now flying kind of cr- flying across country to Southern California here. They are the wild card representative, 88 and 73 on the season, but minus 12 units. You know, they were a team that was banged up all season. So a betting angle here is they made the playoffs, yet they were kind of a losing bet for the full season. The Braves also used nine pitchers on Monday, including two relievers twice, meaning in game one and game two. So those guys definitely are most likely not available. They got the split to get here. They also got the news with Chris Sale back issues being scratched in game two. I almost couldn't believe it when I read it, but Hey, there's quotes that he's likely not available in the series. I think that hurts the Braves. Now, you got to give him credit for making the playoffs, but still, it comes about betting what are you going to do going forward. And if it is Max Freed, that's a benefit for for the Braves. I'm not so sure they're going to wait until game two, though, because he's only going to be able to pitch one game anyway. Plus, doing some research here, Max Freed on normal rest would be game two. If they push him up just four days rest, His OPS for the career is 40 points higher off of four days rest versus five days rest. And this year he pitched eight times off of four days rest and his OPS against was over a hundred points higher. So I actually think they're going to wait, but Hey, the Padres are a lot better against righties. So they'd likely want to go with a lefty. I mean, Chris sale would have been perfect here for the Braves. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that way. And they're going up against Michael, Michael King here for uh, the pods. No more than two earned runs in his last eight starts. Padres are the hottest team in baseball. 11-3, the last 14, them and the Tigers. So overall, that's going to put us on the Padres, guys. Minus 135, listing King as the starter. Now, I know um, this is three-game series for all of them, so we can get after the, the series prices in the comments below. And if you're new to Drew's Daily Diamond, you might think, Oh, all favorites. I tried to get on the Tigers. I really did, guys. And just to let you know, I mean, none of them are huge favorites. And I've been doing this pretty much all season long. I I don't think we've had a show yet where it's all favorites. Kind of kind of been looking for the dogs. But I don't see it happening on Tuesday. So if we go three and one, it will be a profitable day. Two and two, we're going to lose juice. That would be tough. And hopefully we don't lose more than two. So that's going to do it for the Tuesday Drew's Daily Diamond Playoff Edition. Padres minus 135, Brewers minus 140, Orioles minus 150, and the Astros minus 145. Smash that like button. Comment below, guys. We'll be back on Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets. Enjoy your Tuesday.